Uh, play the game again. Raise your hand. What am I going to do right now first? Just tell me the first thing I'll write. Just look at the problem. Tell me the very first thing I'm going to write. I'm doing some of it in my head. Like I look at it and go, oh, need to find, you know, DDX of this, DDX of this. I use the add subtract tool first. What's the first thing I write? Hoping for a few more hands. Let's go, Isaac. Uh, 2x. Ma's right there. How many knew I was going to write 2x? Two points, three for Isaac. Then I write plus. Uh, all you have to do now to get an extra credit is just tell me that just like the next little thing I'm going to, to write and then I'll pay you. Go. Ma's right there. Two points, next. Please. Uh, plus X or just X? Uh, two points, but no. So we're taking the derivative here. So the derivative of this is 2X. Now we're working on this derivative. So you had me write Y. What comes next, Hans? Natasha? Points for Natasha next. Come on, keep going. Focus. Nicole. Plus X. Plus X. Somebody else? Two for Nicole. April. Y prime. See again? Y prime. There we go. Two points next. Let's go, Luke. Uh, three Y squared. Two points next. <coughs> Go, Steven. Two points, well done. You may need me to show more details. Go like this. Which one say that? On the Y prime. So Right here, uh, this is what I did. In my, a lot of it was just in my head. So because I have two factors being multiplied, I use the product rule. So I take the second y, that's right here, multiply by derivative of the first. Plus the first x multiplied by derivative of the second. Like that. Uh, that's where this, so these are the same thing. Because dy dx is just, hello, dy dx is just another way of saying y prime. I don't know if that helped or not. Point. We also need more detail. Good. Need to isolate the y prime. So I'm going to get the 2x and the y to the other side. So I have x, y prime plus 3y squared y prime must equal negative 2x minus y. Question. Factor out the y prime. It's a good review question for the test. Don't forget the test deadline is Wednesday at midnight. Uh, that's a firm deadline. It's not like homework where I can be flexible. You miss that deadline, you have to come talk to me. You can't just send me an email, you have to come talk to me.
the fraction that's in the, like the negative in front, you have the negative in front of a fraction, that means the negative can apply to the top or the bottom, but not both. So if I were to take this negative and distribute, I get my answer, so A is correct. We want to talk okay. more about it? Your oh, go ahead. bottom answer has subtract one. Oh, what I was saying is like here, they've written. Oh, yeah, okay. Do you see it now? Two points. What else? Please. So, how'd you get from. So, are you okay from here to here? No, I'm just confused about how you got like why. But it's probably just because of the product. It's the product rule. So this one here. So that comes from <laughs> using the product rule on that. So I take the y times dx over dx. Plus x dy dx. That makes sense. The way I remember the product rule is rather than looking at the sheet, I just remember it's the second of the two factors multiplied by ddx of the first factor plus then just switch it around. If I help. <laughs> 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 yeah, I just struggle with the one that I struggle with. Anybody else here? Oh, please. From here to here? Is that what you said? Say it again. Uh, yeah, the process of getting from zero to the next Oh. Um, basically on this line, so the question was just how did I get from here to here? I have this term plus this term plus this term plus this term. So it's no different if you had something like A plus B plus CY prime plus dy prime equals zero. So I simply subtract these two terms to the other side. Because dx dx is one. Do you see it? Is that because you're trying to isolate the y prime? Yeah, the goal was to get an equation for, so the question was, am I trying to isolate the y prime? Yes. The, uh, the goal is to get an equation for dy dx. Uh, so, did you use the same product rule with uh, y, to, like, y to the third? Like, I get the three y in the second, but I don't get the three y of all Oh, gotcha. So, Cameron's question was three points. Where did this come from? Yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, let me erase this. So, that's not the product rule that's causing that to happen. What's causing that is the power rule. So the power rule says you have n d of something to a number over dx. It's the same thing as number times the something n minus 1 d of the something over dx. Are you comfortable with that? Uh, okay, so the power. Oh yeah. yeah. So this is the rule on the sheet. Is that okay? Yeah, the first, like the first one. Made, uh -huh. Okay. So in this case, right here, we're taking the derivative of y cubed. Uh, you tell me what goes here in the something. Y. Y. What's the end? Cube. So three. Yeah. So now you just fill it out. Three. Y. 
3 y squared. You want to 3y squared dy dx. Okay, I, I guess I haven't used that one a lot. Don't worry, you get it? Nothing. Cool. Anybody out? Karen? 29? 